Hi, I'm Andrea Tyler, and um, this is an update on my journey with epilepsy. So, um, in the past, I've mentioned the type of seizures that I have, which are grandma seizures, and I've discussed some of the things that I've gone through and some of the tests that I've gone through and been through throughout the years to deal with my epilepsy. So, um, recently I had an update with my medication where my dosage was um, moved up and things were going pretty great for me. Um, I did have one situation where the company, my company went, we went on the road to premiere I, um, we went on tour actually to premiere a movie that we just came out with, um, Bad Boxer. Y'all go check it out on Tubi. Plug. <laughs> but we went touring to premiere the movie that we had before it came out on Tubi TV. I got a full refill of my prescription before I left to go out of town and then when it was while I was out of town it was time for me to refill my medication again which I didn't think was going to be an issue I have uh, had Medicaid and I got my medication from Walmart so I didn't think that there would be an issue because there are Walmarts everywhere well I found out that if I was a f few states out of a, a certain range from the state that I have my Medicaid coverage in, then my Medicaid would not cover the price of my medication. Okay, fine, but I still needed the medication. So, um, and I do not have a lot of money and the medication is expensive. So I started to order a week's worth of medication at a time while we were traveling and pick it up in whatever city and state that we were in which wasn't an issue well the time came for um it was time for me to have another doctor's appointment with my neurologist where i had more blood work done so that the doctor can check the um, the absorbency of the medication in my blood or something like that and um, what happened was I actually had a seizure while on the medication I wasn't missing any doses or anything like that and I kind of it, it kind of brought my spirits down a little bit because I was I had a lot of high hopes in the medication I wasn't having any any grand mal seizures um, I did find out through testing that I was having hundreds of of small seizures throughout the days throughout the day and night on a regular basis every day and that's something that I didn't know so um, I'm grateful to to my doctor for finding that out but we still never found out an actual cause of my seizures so um, just to make everything brief we're at the end of the premiere tour now I'm rushing to get back home to Vegas so that I can get to my doctor's appointment. And um, initially, the I called and I said, "Okay, don't I need to go and get blood work to come in so that you all can, you know, check check my blood levels?" And I was told no. So when the time came for me, when I was heading back here, I called to make sure. And they said, well, we can't schedule you because you don't have any blood work. And I was like, okay, I asked y'all, but y'all told me no. So we had to reschedule, which wasn't a big deal because it worked out with the way things were going with our travels and everything. We had a few issues with the vehicle and it set us back. So it wasn't a big deal. So I'm finally making it here to Vegas, rushing. <laughs> And I call and I'm told that I am no longer even covered by the Medicaid plan. Um, I also got a call from, um, from 
uh, government assistant services. I don't know what it's called out here, but I got a call from them while I was on the road and I told them that I was headed back into Vegas so that I can catch up on all of my appointments and things like that. And I mean, the, the, the person on the line got kind of rude with me. The call cut off because I was in the mountains um, traveling and then there, there was no phone service. But you know, the everything got to the point where it's just, you know, I called the doctor's office when I got here and had phone service and things like that. And they, and they said, well, we can't schedule you because we no longer cover you. You're no longer covered under the Medicaid services anymore. And so now I'm stuck in a situation where I have a few pills left over, but I cannot get a refill because I'm no longer covered for Medicaid. And the reason why I'm no longer covered under the Medicaid coverage is because I was out of the city, out, out of the state for too long. I'm not sure what these people expect from me. Um, so I'll do what I can, but now I'm at the point with my medication and with the seizures, um, I've tr been trying to wean myself off of the medication so that I don't have a major, like really, really bad seizure. And um, I've already had one, uh, had, it, had a fall. I was on the patio. I sat down when I felt it coming and I woke up on the ground, you know, trying to get myself together. I had fallen on my face, broken my glasses, um, scraped my face up. My tongue is pretty bruised up, kind of bad. So, um, I've had worse seizures. I've, I've had worse falls. I've had worse injuries. Is is the, the point that I'm upset about is like, I really feel like being on government assistance and having that type of help you're put into a small ball or you put into a small container and you have to remain in those guidelines in order for them to help you once you step out of those guidelines you no longer receiving that help and me stepping out of those guidelines did not make me a rich person so i in no way shape or form can afford the type of medical coverage that I need <laughs> in order for me to keep a neurologist, in order for me to keep regular doctor's uh, visits, in order for me to keep up the regular testing and things like that. So now I'm in a whole new phase on this journey and I'm gonna keep it up and I'm gonna keep letting you guys know what's going on with me. Um, I keep looking off to the side right now because I have a major headache, but I'm guessing that that is something that is one of the side effects of me coming off of the medication. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because my head was hurting so bad that I kept waking up. I had to sit up, reposition myself and move around and I already don't get good sleep as it is. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh, oh but at, at this point I am, going to work at changing my diet and the things that I put into my body um, to help me try and regulate the seizures and things like that. So I will keep you guys updated and let you guys know what's going on. I have to go right now because my head is hurting really bad.